Hey friends, I am just popping on to tell you about a new book that I just purchased. I actually pre-ordered this book because I was highly anticipating this children's book. This is called, the title is You Will Always Belong. It's by Matthew Paul Turner. If you do not follow him on social media, I follow him on Facebook, go and subscribe to him because he is fantastic. He's a dad of two kids. He's a Christian and he's gay. All positive things in the Christian world. The message behind this is kids need to know that no matter who they are, how they are, what they look like, who they are on the inside, that they will always belong. And especially in the Christian churches. Now, I come from a evangelical background, but I am currently United Methodist. And the messaging can often oftentimes be that you need to act and be a certain way to belong in the realm of Christianity and the realm of church, which then translates over into your relationship with, with God. And the messaging has long time been that not only do you have to act a certain way, you need to dress a certain way, but you also need to be at your core a certain way. And typically that's been heterosexual. And kids get that at a very young age in evangelical and conservative churches. I grew up knowing um, that homosexuality, I was taught that it was a sin, that it was wrong. We can get into this discussion another time with biblical passages and all that. We've all been middle school teenagers, right? There's always been this desire to be our, our authentic selves. And many, many kids have not had the freedom that I have had to be my authentic self. As a kid growing up, I had crushes on boys. Um, and yes, I, you know, I was told not to wear spaghetti straps and the way I dressed, the messaging was, you belong in the church and in the world as long as you are dressing modestly, as long as you are speaking, uh, you are quiet and not heard, meek, mild as a female. And this book seeks to say your authentic self belongs in this world, belongs in your family, belongs in your church, in your community, you belong. I love the last line, the last phrase of the book and I'm gonna just read this part to you. When you celebrate you, God celebrates you too and the world becomes brighter and a little bit new. So be who you are, turn the light in you on, shine bright little one, you will always belong. And yes, God created us as we are, <laughs> whether that is our sexuality, our gender, our quirks, we are created by God. And that should be celebrated because God celebrates with us who we are. We shouldn't have to hide our authentic selves. As long as we are not harming others or harming ourselves, our uniqueness is to be celebrated and embraced. Celebrated and embraced. God, God doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> I don't believe God makes mistakes. And I love that this book uh, seeks to teach kids at a young age to be authentically who they are with, a, with beauty and with pur purpose. Now, does this book specifically address homosexuality? No, no. Kids this young for this age group where you will be reading a, a book out loud to, they're not thinking about their sexuality, right? Most of them are thinking about, you know, the, the stuff they do at school. I have a six-year-old daughter and she's thinking about, you know, how tall she is. She's the shortest one in her class. She's thinking about her friendships at school. She's thinking about playing and having fun and trying to fit in and 
trying to discover who she is and what she loves to do. And that's what this book does too. I mean, you've got a, a little kid, you know, <laughs> taking the heartbeat of a penguin over here that might want to explore being a vet. You have um, music and playing outside. And yes, there's some woodworking in here and some baking and skateboarding and being allowed to cry. And it's all from a little boy's point of view. You will always belong. So if you are looking for a book that helps kids embrace and discover their authentic selves at their current age in life, this is it right here.